what is going on guys i hope you're having a wonderful day and today we are going to be redoing the trunk and actually getting it looking really really nice now if you guys seen the previous video you guys know that i have planned to do something with the trunk it didn't really work out as you noticed or as if you guys haven't seen that video link's gonna be right up there if you guys seen that video you know that i liked the tank but it wasn't something that well not the tank i mean the trunk setup it was it wasn't something that i was like really really happy about it was definitely something that i would tolerate but i'm trying to build a show car so definitely i want to get something a little bit better and something that's going to look amazing but i'm not going to be able to achieve that with the current setup that i have i messed up a lot with the wood and with the foam so what I'm going to do now is that to, uh, off camera, I believe like a couple of days ago, I went over to Home Depot. I bought two new pieces of wood. They are a lot thicker than what I used before because due to the fact that it was pretty thin, it was going to buckle eventually. So I definitely wanted to get that fixed. And now since I have the two new boards, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure everything out very, very well because I don't want to go through the same problem again. And another problem that I'm also having is that the compressor is way too close to the tank. And since I'm going to be running dual compressors, I got to adjust the way the compressor is sitting so that way I can have the two lines going in the proper way. And then also I didn't even take into account that I have a mount for the airlift manifold. I didn't take that into account either. So I have to adjust that as well, but definitely I'm going to get everything looking nice looking sturdy and getting everything as good as possible today because uh, Saturday is the big day. Saturday we are getting the air suspension installed finally. It took so long. I've been super busy. Johan has been super busy. So unfortunately we weren't able to get it done for, for a couple of weeks. But this Saturday is it. This Saturday we are going to be installing the air suspension finally. Because after Saturday I don't have any more free time. As I stated in the previous videos, I did start the job at the post office and being a CCA, which is a city carrier assistant in the post office, your hours are insane. You work like 10 hours a day. Sometimes you don't have a day off for 10, 15 days. So definitely getting content out to you guys is going to be very difficult, but I definitely want to have something to show you guys, something to give you. By the time this video goes out, it's been three weeks since I recorded it. So that's as ahead as I'm trying to get. Definitely, if you guys see me on the street, you're gonna see the car the way that it sat before the video went up. So definitely today, I wanna get all this stuff set up. I got new fabric. I'm gonna do the measurements right this time and I don't wanna mess anything up. And another thing I'm going to do is that since I don't have a box for the speaker because I didn't take that into account either, I'm gonna put the speaker back in the box. I'm gonna have it shut and I'm also gonna hide it behind the tank and gonna try and have like the compressor sit a little bit crooked. I still gotta figure out exactly what I wanna do, but I definitely wanna get this looking as good as possible. And I wanna get it looking very, very nice. Now, it is hot today. It's very, very hot. I don't know if my shirt is already getting wet from the sweat, but it's hot today. It's around two o'clock right now and it, it's hot. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna do that much. Just gonna cut the wood, do all the measurements, drill the holes, and then glue on the fabric. Hopefully I don't have to do much trimming because the last time I had to trim a lot because I wanted to sit flush. The problem I was having then was that it did not want to go inside the trunk, so that's why I had to cut it into four pieces, but not today. I'm not cutting it into four pieces. That's just gonna make everything a whole lot worse than what it actually is. So I am gonna cut it a little bit shorter than the OEM uh, fabric thing. I guess it's, I don't even know what that is. I guess it's like a thin piece of cardboard, but basically what I wanna do is I wanna cut it a little bit short so that way I can fit it into the trunk and it will sit flush with the uh, bottom section of it. And then with the remaining pieces of wood, I'm gonna fold them up and then have them glued up so that way there's a little bit more clearance for the airlines that go out to the rear of the car and 
have everything looking nice and sturdy show ready so without further ado let's go ahead and do this okay so i do apologize i do have a fan running because it is it is really really hot but what i went ahead it was that i measured the uh OEM like board section again. What I want to do now is that I want to measure from those two sections and then cut straight through because the problem that I, I was having before was when it came to this section right here, sorry, it, it's it's still, still a mess. So the problem that I was having here was that you see it fits, right? But when I lift it up to go and take it out, did not want to go when it was straight. So what I did was that I bent it, but that was wrong. What I should have done was that I should have made it right here, cut like right here. So that way I could slide it in and then put it down. It's all part of the game. It's all part about having fun and trying to figure all this stuff out. Next thing I want to do is unplug the manifold and all the airlines. Yep. What I want to do is that I want to mark each airline to where they go. If not, I'm going to lose track because my memory is horrible. Let's go ahead and it's going to get unplugged just like that. This right here is going to be the exhaust. So I'm going to push this out, grab some tape, wrap it around just like that. And this is going to be marked exhaust. I'm just gonna do that for each and every one of them. Make sure that everything is nice, or make sure everything is good. Then I'm gonna go ahead, hop into the back seat, and then just start unhooking everything, making sure that I mark everything where they go. And then I also bought some quick connect at AutoZone so that way I could be able to connect the compressor and to the, uh, the wires over to the manifold. And in case that compressor takes a dump, I can always disconnect it and connect a new one without with ease, without any problem. So if you guys, have air suspension or thinking about air suspension definitely invest in some quick connects because that is going to help okay so now that i have the manifold out i want to show you guys exactly what i want to do because i ordered this bracket off of ebay i just need to get it welded together i might just go to like a exhaust shop or something like that to get it done so the manifold will come up over here and get it lined up manifold is definitely gonna have to come up like that manifold will sit like this have the air lines coming out through like a little hole through here I want to make sure that there is more than enough space so what I want to do is just have it like that have the tank sit back here just gotta make sure that I have enough space for everything grab the speaker box come up something like that I have to test to make sure everything works in the car first but have it come up something like that just gotta fix everything first but if you guys get the idea have a compressor over over here the other compressor have it come up into every so that way everything's out of the way have the tank right there it's just about playing with it it's all it's all there is all right so let me take everything else out what i did off camera was that i went to autozone so that way i can get these these are quick connects so that way in case anything happens with the compressor i could just disconnect it and then connect the new one quickly no problems and i went ahead and got two different colors just to be safe just to make sure that I don't mess up so what I want to do is I want to color coat I want to have the blue as negative and then the red as positive obviously have everything connect properly just like that and then if you need to disconnect it just like that only thing you really need to do is just crimp the other sides and then I finally got a crimp tool and a wire stripper so that way I know what to do this time because I was in fact an idiot before and didn't even take this into consideration so I'm happy that I got this and then I also got the quick connects so that way I can disconnect the compressor from everything and it should be good there. Okay, so now that I have everything disconnected, compressors out of the wood, tanks out of the wood, now I just gotta trim the wood, test fit it in the car, 
And then once I do that, I will be able to figure all this stuff out. Because I'm thinking about rather than having it sit completely like this, having it at an angle so that way it can come up into the tank on each side. So definitely have it something like this centered. Maybe have a cutout over here so that way I can have the lines come out and then have the compressor come up over here. And it will be the same on the other side unless I do something like this. I just have it like crooked, like a different design. So let me go ahead and move all this stuff over here. Okay, so now what I want to do is that I, rather than cut down here, what I want to do is that I want to cut a straight line right down here so that way I know where to cut exactly. I'm trying to make it as even as possible. Okay, so I'm just checking to make sure that it's straight on both sides, and it is. Now, time to cut. So I just finished trimming and I only did one trim and I am in complete shock that I got it right the first time. It fits and it fits really, really, really well. I was not expecting that. I thought I was going to have to trim a whole bunch. I do know that the other piece of wood, I'm going to have to cut a little bit more, but I got it and I am really, really shocked. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get the speaker, the compressor, just everything in here, everything just set up so that way I know what I'm doing and how I'm going to do it. Surprisingly, I did it the first time and I did it right, which is nice, which is very, very nice. So let me go ahead and mock everything up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I mounted everything on where I wanted it to go. Something like that. I definitely want the compressor to be hidden in the back because I have all the, the uh, stuff in the back. So I'll probably have the wire come up over here. Something like this. I'm definitely going to switch where I have the compressor connected to the tank initially to over here. So that way I'll have everything like the water trap come down out under then right over here and then the only thing I have to do is just mount this mount that mount this mount the uh, the speaker box put the speaker back in obviously and then I'm not gonna make any holes Johan's actually gonna do that and I do have unfortunate news due to the fact that I don't work at Volkswagen anymore I can't be in the shop so unfortunately I won't be able to film the install but I'm definitely gonna try and do something cool for you guys trying to get like some cinematics and stuff like that so that part sucks but I gotta follow the rules I don't want to get anybody in trouble I don't even want to get myself in trouble but I definitely want to see this get installed I'm not gonna film that much just gonna film the before after and then maybe make like another video of like a kind of like showcasing the car a little bit I don't know I don't know I, I'm still gonna figure out what to do I do want to do something cool so let me go ahead and make the holes for everything. Okay, so both pieces are trimmed. Both pieces fit in the car. Now, time to lay down the fabric, and cut the holes, and then we'll be done.
Yep. I finally got it installed. Everything is nice and clean. Oh my God, it took a lot of work. And the best part about it is that now I can utilize the spare wheel well so I can put a spare tire in here and that is something that I actually wanted to keep that is definitely a feature that I wanted to keep in case you know I get a flat tire I have something I can use rather than you know fix a flat and all that stuff so definitely happy I can use this obviously all this is gonna get cleaned up don't worry everything here is gonna get cleaned up I'll be able to stick the wheel back in there and I'll be able to use this so that way I can you know put some groceries here maybe have like like a little block I can put in between there where the lines are gonna be so that way I can use this to put some groceries but I'll separate when we get there but I am finally finally done I'm finished with that now I only have to wait for Saturday I do have to go and get the bracket mount uh, welded for the uh, manifold that's something that I actually have to do. I do have to get that welded. But in the meantime, she's done. She's nice and clean finally. Unlike before when it was all just a giant heap of mess with four pieces. Everything was on level. It wasn't even. And it just didn't look good. You live and you learn. I'm definitely happy that I finally got it done now and everything's nice and clean. So definitely super happy that I got it looking what I pictured and I'm not even done yet there's still a lot more things that I want to do in order to make it like pop up even more but that's I'm gonna have to save that for like a couple weeks from now definitely a lot later I'm happy with the way that it came out it's, it definitely looks so much better than what it did before it is a oh, hundred times better than what it did before hinges are nice and hidden everything is just, it just looks clean it looks proper now it, I, that's what I wanted and that's what I mistakenly didn't achieve last time. Like I said, you live and you learn. It's definitely a fun project and I'm definitely happy I did it twice and right this time. Ugh, it, it's, it's coming out good. It's coming out really good. And I'm sorry I'm not as enthusiastic. I'm really tired. It was hot today and I was trying to knock this thing out and I, did, I didn't want to spend like more than today to do it and I'm happy that I got it done today. I didn't spend more than more time than what I needed to. Yes, it did take me all day, but at least I got it done in one day, so tomorrow I can just relax, get get whatever I need to get done tomorrow, and that's it. I'm definitely happy that I finally got this done, and it looks so much better. So, so much better. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, press the notification bell because you don't want to miss what's coming up next, and I'll see you next video. I find it hard to describe my anxiety Feel like my heart and my mind got a rivalry Feel like my thoughts and emotions are fighting inside of me I gotta get the shit out of me I feel like force, I'm running from everything I never saw this shit in its entirety If you need someone to get something 90% done and quit on it You should decide